Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 35 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And it's still a minigame biathlon up in here, oh jeez. Yeah, we're still trucking on through these minigames. I think we're getting close to done with both these, but... Cause, and hopefully so, because they might start to get a little bit irritating. Alright, Splash Beach. Yeah, we're up to three stars difficulty, so... Should be getting there. Oh, by the way, I was just messing around off screen for a little bit here. And I noticed that it never actually showed off the two shops. Oh my god, the sun's so happy. Yeah, there's like two shops in uh, Patch Plaza here that you can like buy fabric and furniture from. So I really need to show those off at some point, I guess. I might do that in a bonus episode if you guys want me to. Uh, leave a comment if you really if you're really interested in seeing that and all the fabrics and stuff. I've also been thinking that I probably have to, that I might have to show off like the whole. Uh, mechanic of decor. Why am I doing this? <laughs> of uh, decorating your pad, Kirby's pad here, apartment 101. Because that's another little mechanic. Does the can I kill the turtle? I don't think so. Uh, oh god, man, I suck. <laughs> that was horrible. All right, well, can't be expected to get on the first try. Now that they're actually starting to get a little bit more challenging. Now can I? Gotta get a feel for the level. Okay, it doesn't look like I have to get all the enemies. I thought, like, you had to get all of them in each one of these, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Because, I don't know, it looks like there's, like, I should, I should probably just avoid those sharks in the water and just go for the guys above land. The landlubbers. Avasti landlubbers. Oh, my God. <laughs> the sun is just so derpy. It's cross-eyed, too. I never noticed that. Cross-eyed sun. Don't, don't, don't drop it. Oh, that was beautiful. Sweet. All right, I think we might got it. we might have it this time. We might got it this time. Was I was I was about to say there? Oh my goodness, my grammar's getting worse by the day. I tell you. All right. Um. Oh shit. We are gonna have to go for at least one of those sharks. Can I get it in a hurry, dude? Thank you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, I guess. It was just a matter of realizing that, well, <laughs> of how to do it faster, because I was I was supposed to be utilizing those spears more than I was, I guess. Because you really got to utilize those, because they are <laughs> they are fast killers. What can I say? You put on quite a show out there, Kirby. I'm really impressed. Keep it up. And he found in a training session. <laughs> how do you find fabric in a training session? The water hoop fabric. I don't know. I guess. Depends on what, I, I guess, his training is going through these levels and killing enemies. Maybe you could find fabric that way. I don't even know, man. Alright, now just round the way to Mara's. Good, good lord. Man, what am I going to do with all these beads? I just looked at there. I have 87,000 beads. I guess I'm supposed to be spending those at the store, like buying fabrics and furnitures and all this stuff. But, I don't know. Unless there's, like, another floor to the apartment complex. I don't know if there is. If you guys want to let me know about that, then that's fine. Oh, uh, because even though this is a blind LP now, it's, uh... That's not really a spoiler. At least I don't see it as one. Oh, shoot. I forgot that when you get hit. Oh, in these races, yeah. I haven't played this game in a while, so, so sorry if I'm kind of stupid about things. Jeez. She is miles ahead of me now. Alright, I can still pull this off, though. If I play my cards just right. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this thing. It's probably a smart way to go. Man, she stops pretty frequently, actually. Now that I'm, now that I'm looking at that little graph up there. I don't think it's frequently enough for, to, for, to justify how long I'm taking doing this to catch, back, to catch back up with her. Wait, no, what? Oh my god. I didn't think I got crushed there. I thought I actually avoided that. And I was about to say, oh my god, it's a miracle! But no. No, I suck. I really suck. Man. Wow, that was close. Mm. Oh, that's cl that was close too. What? Why did you take me all the way back? That doesn't... <laughs> wow. Alright, dude. You can still catch up, maybe. Probably not. You can try, though. You can try to salvage something out, out of this... Man, I keep trying to go under there, and that's just not working. I guess I should try to go over. I'm just afraid if I go over, I'm just going to jump headlong into one of those fireballs, because that's what I always do. 
because out of everywhere on the screen that that fireball could be on, on, along its trajectory, it just has to be in the one spot that's where I am when I'm jumping up. That's always that's the way it works with video games. There's just no way around it. Sorry to say. At least I managed to figure out how to avoid those pits more cleverly now, because when I originally started this, I was having trouble with those little balls in those pits. This guy's obnoxious because he makes you wait for him. Uh, he's like, clear the way. I'm the man. All right, I'm going to uh, go here. All right, we're looking good. Looking good, Ultimisi. Oh, hold on. All right, we're still, we're still going strong. Now just wait here. Wait it out. Don't rush things. That's what you were doing before. You were rushing, man. And it was not helping your cause. What's so Yeah, see, you got it this time. Look at that. That wasn't that bad at all. Why'd you have so much trouble with that, man? Ooh, 48 seconds exactly, man. <laughs> Not that that's like a great time or anything. It's just you rarely ever see it when you have zero, zero milliseconds on the clock at the end. Good for you, I suppose. I'll have to try harder next time. Why are you made of so many cubes? You're, it's unnerving. The battens pin. <laughs> what are battens? I don't know. I'll have to look that up or something. I have to work on expanding my vocabulary as is. Ooh. You know what I've always wondered, like, is, a uh, with enemy names in games, just, like, common enemy names, why are, why do people find it so hard to remember, like, most of them? Like, in the olden days, we managed to remember them like it was nothing, and we still remember them up to this day, like, Goombas and Bloopers and, like, uh, Wigglers and Waddle Dees, all these names that make absolutely no sense and they shouldn't be memorable, but they are. But, like, the na names of new enemies, like, I couldn't tell you the name of that shark right there, like, his official name. It's just, I don't even know. How am I going to do this? Well, I should probably work on, like, starting to, by killing enemies, shouldn't I? Just, don't just peruse the land. I don't have time to take a walk through the park here. I've already screwed this up, I know, but it's fun just trying anyways. Alright, so I'm probably going to have to do that. Yeah, okay. Oh, that actually, like, aims down when it... Wait, what? I did it? <laughs> I, I thought I wasn't going to, man. How many... How... 2791. I actually had a little bit... Of I thought I was, like, down to just a few milliseconds there. Well, boy, howdy. Ain't that a peach. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? It's always so exciting to see what fabric we're in it, because you never know. Mmm, the waterfall fabric. <laughs> oh, I better look behind that. There's probably seekers back there. As there always is in these games. Daunting me with those... That carrot you dangle in front of me. Damn you, Mofun Zone! Um, sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Alright, this will probably be the last one. Dino Jungle. Yep, this is the accursed level from... Back, way back when, when my thing was... Freezing up all the time. My Wii... And I kept freezing on this level because it was being stupid and I had to send it in for repairs and it was a big pain in the ass. It was a big stink. D dude, don't start by... Oh my god, don't start off slow already here. Oh my goodness. Well, you kind of made it up for there, I suppose. I approve. Because he made some pretty clever-ish jumps there. Alright, watch out for Waldo. And these escargot guys. Man, I'm I don't like those salamander guys. They're they're kinda scary. Uh somehow I think there's a, like a way I could be going through here faster. Did that did that snail seriously chase me all the way down there? Wow. That's one dedicated snail. Oh man. I always forget that. I don't know why. <laughs> that that timer starts whenever you get hit. Alright, Mara. Oh, we're neck and neck. No, not anymore. Not if you jump into the arrow. I mean, the arrow's the smallest thing on the screen, and that's the thing you hit? What are you... Are you high? Well, apparently I am. <laughs> Just fell into the dino pit down here. This is a cool place right down here, right beneath these two dinosaurs. I don't know, it's like a little oasis or something. I would sleep there, probably. If there was enough mossiness, and if there were no tardigrades in sight. 
Tartar Rage are awesome, by the way. Mm. Oh my. Alright, yeah, I missed the Pterodactyl there, so I didn't make as skillful of a recovery as I did the first time, but it's still good. Alright, why am I carrying this guy? I don't... Just to kill that guy, I suppose. Not that that really yields me anything in terms of the race, but... Alright, Mara. Ooh, boy. Yeah, there's gotta be a shortcut, like, over that way, doesn't there? I don't know. There probably is. Uh, oh, man, that guy almost hit me with his beam. I'm surprised he didn't, actually. Oh, here we go. We're doing good. And he avoided the arrow this time. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> you pass, kindergarten. All right. And down the tail, and there it is. Sweet. I'm going to take a victory lap of the dinosaur. Yeah! Oh, no, I didn't get to launch off his nose. 111 beads. Another new race in a stage. What the hell, man? There's like five million of these mini games, and I can't, don't have time for all of them. Oh goodness! What is this? This is the ancient ruins fabric. Is that like clockwork runes? Whenever I hear the words ancient ruins, my mind defaults to Mayahem Temple from Banjo Tooie. I don't know why. It's just the icon the iconic ruinic place for me. Anyways, uh, since I'm going to be cutting some stuff out here, I think I'm probably going to call it an episode here. So, <laughs> I know it's not very exciting at all, these mini-games, but we'll, we'll get on with the space world sooner or later, guys. Just hang in there for now. But, until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and good night.